All right, man, towards the top, 12 o'clock. You know what it is, man, 12 o'clock show. You know what it is, man. We back at it. Back at it, baby, whipping the Craftmatic. You know what it is. All right, so look, today we're going to be talking about Kendrick Lamar's album. And uh, is it a masterpiece? And is this the final nail in Drake's coffin? You know what I'm saying? This is what everybody's saying, that uh, this is an aggressive Kendrick, and everybody's loving it right now. And they're saying that this is something that they've been waiting for since damn. So look, <clears throat> let's get to it, man. Before I get into that, legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you do here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies who want in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass me. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. Absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description. Cash at PayPal's in the description. No PayPal. You know what I'm saying? They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And let me know where you from. The king of the north. Ah! <laughs> Y'all like that, boy? That's what I'm talking about. So look, man. We're going to get into it, man. We're going to get into it. I'm in a good mood today. Hope y'all in a good mood, too. So we're going to get into it, man. Uh, we'll be back to discuss. All right, so this comes from Fantastic Hip Hop. You know what it is. Let's get to it. Let's go, baby. Now, just when everyone was least expecting it, the entire fabric of the rap game has changed forever, as after all the speculation and wonder, Kendrick Lamar has come out of nowhere and finally given us not just a moment, but the exact thing that would freeze the rap game and create an atmosphere that nothing else can, with, of course, his brand new studio album. And now, right out of nowhere randomly in the morning, Kendrick has given us this brand new project called GNX, and with 12 new songs that span across a runtime of 44 minutes. While it's too early to go into what everything on this project is telling us and what it all really means in depth, what's already clear and what the album wants you to know over everything is that this is a record that features a performance from a rapper like the genre has never been able to see. As we are witnessing Kendrick Lamar come back out in this time where he clearly isn't just the best rapper in the game in terms of everything he can do and pull off, but he's also the most important and feared MC out. As in a rap game where there are so many clowns and people who are always starting drama and doing things for all the wrong reasons. That's definitely a fact. He has transcended himself into God mode. I'm not even going to hold you. You can't say nothing about Kendrick Lamar now. Nothing. There's no critique you can say. He has accomplished everything that a rapper could accomplish and be still considered a GOAT. It's nothing you can say. It's nothing you can say. <clears throat> this even solidifies him even more as being the greatest of all time. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing you can say about Kendrick now. Nothing. You might have little critiques here and there. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. But there's nothing you can say. Overall, he is, he is that guy. He's that guy. And what can you say? Kendrick Lamar is walking out amidst all of the chaos in hip-hop right now, and more than just dissing Drake and his crew, he is sending a message here to the entire genre to just get better and stop doing all of the ridiculous stuff that has been diluting hip-hop as an art form, and whether this is from other rap legends sneak dissing him, or rappers just not being able to stand on any sort of ground or message. Kendrick Lamar is warning everyone right now to pick a side and stand there. And with Kendrick having such things coming up on his calendar as playing the biggest show in all of music with the Super Bowl, with all the rappers who have shown that they are jealous of him, it really seems like with this move to release this project, Kendrick Lamar is throwing everything out to get the best of his peers before anyone else can even try or think about doing something to step on the moment and run that he that's true. I feel like that. And the more and more I'm starting to feel like this is this is a mixtape because it's kind of set up like that, to be honest with you. Um, I wish that he would have put the other songs on there if he could have. But I think that he's showing he's showing people that he don't have to use those songs. You know what I'm saying? And that's what kind of makes me believe that this is more of a a, a mixtape album instead of actually an album album. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking that he might drop something else um, probably, probably before the Super Bowl. 
I'm thinking he might drop something else. And if he does, it's going to be epic. Um, but this here is good enough. I ain't going to lie to you. I've listened to this joint like 10 times. I listened to it all night. All night I listened to it. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's just something that's just like, it's a it's a feel. You know what I'm saying? It's a feel. It's 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 really good. It's really good. But let's keep it going. He is commanding so much respect for right now. And in addition to Kendrick, really just going off on the entire rap game here. Another clear thing this album wants you to understand is that just like we saw during his pop-out concert, being with the area he is from in the West Coast is so important to him, and Kendrick really cares so much about the people he has come up with and who have helped shape him into the MC and man he is today. And this is really made clear by the fact that Kendrick features an array of West Coast MCs just because of their skills as opposed to their star power because for a lot of features on this album. For a lot of MCs on this record, this is the biggest moment of their entire careers. And Kendrick Lamar really is a real one for including rappers who don't dominate the charts on this record right alongside him, as it's really just showing where he is at in his career and what he is trying to accomplish. Because in a rap game where someone like Drake, for example, who just like a lot of other artists, designed their most recent album to have all the biggest names in the game on it, to supplement for their own lack of skill and excitement on their end. What we're seeing Kendrick do here is the exact opposite, as he is using the- Yeah, he definitely is doing the exact opposite because everybody's always talking about Kendrick. It's like they try to find something on Kendrick, but he keeps proving them wrong. The whole thing about him and Taylor Swift, bam, he drops an album. Taylor Swift ain't on it. What happened to that? That she was going to be on his album. You know what I'm saying? This is how you know, like, some of y'all just say anything, man. Some of y'all say anything, and it's so crazy to me how this how it comes about. It's like I just don't understand. I was saying this on a other, previous video. I was saying that people jump the gun too much when it comes to Kendrick. You really don't know. You just gotta chill, bro. Like for real, just gotta chill. His names to contribute and create a greater message about the coast he is from and the people who have supported and stood by his side when everyone else has not. And now with these two themes and ideas. Kendrick has everything he needs here to just unleash mayhem on the entire music world, and if Kendrick's 2024 run has taught us one thing, it's that you should already know that this is exactly what he was going to do here, and while with a lot of these tracks, there is again so much being said that they need their own analysis and deep dives, which speaking of, to stay up to date with everything that needs to be said about this album, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, but regardless of everything that we really need to look deeper into, what's obvious is that throughout this entire LP, where previously all of Kendrick Lamar's albums had this distinct emotional tone to them that genuinely allowed for them to have these greater messages that make you think on the most philosophical of levels. Here things are different as Kendrick just has this sense of vengeance to him which gives him an aura that really not even the best rappers even in their prime have been able to walk with. Just be Yeah, it's kind of like this album to me it's it's like it's like it's like Vengeance is mine. Anybody know what the uh, G DNX stands for? Or GXN stands for? Please put that in the comments. But oh, I don't think that's the car. I think that's the car. But this, this, this is kind of like him, him, uh, showing you that his. This is his real roots, his street roots, his roots from from the hood. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of like. It reminds me of Section 80, but updated. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so it's so well put together, and it it gives you this dark feel. You know what I'm saying? Even as even the songs that are kind of like up tempo, they still give you a dark feel. You could feel like the energy of him is totally different in this joint. Let's keep it going. Because between what this moment represents, Kendrick's demeanor on this entire project, which most of the time comes with so much aggression, to then of course his pen game, which is just as technically proficient as it is ferocious. Overall, it's clear that this album is a warning to the rap game to move and stay out of the way because the best MC on the planet is here, and despite how so much of the culture has celebrated him and how he defeated who was the biggest rival he has ever had, Kendrick still needs to accomplish so much in this genre and space, and he is not going to stop until hip-hop looks different. And really what's interesting about this LP is that the way Kendrick wrote and performed... NetCredit is here to say yes. You believed in me. To a
All right, YouTube froze. I don't know what happened. Let's go. Face, and he is not going <clears> to <throat> stop until hip hop looks different. And really, what's interesting about this LP is that the way Kendrick wrote and performs here, it really feels like this is just chapter one to some greater moment and not the final bow out. Which, based on the fact that we already got a snippet that is not featured on the project in a video, it seems like this very well could be the case. But now with this type of vibe on a record that's so gritty and unpredictable, this is another skill that the record uses to its advantage. Because with what Kendrick is doing, there's this sense of unpredictability that no other rapper or artist today can even create a fraction of. And I mean, for the first time in Kendrick Lamar's career, hearing him make an entire record with the same moniker that defined a verse like Control back in the day or all of his Drake disses this year, is genuinely one of the best things we could have gotten as rap fans is when it comes to being a conceptual <clears throat> definitely true that's definitely true it has become this thing where kendrick lamar is like <clears throat> he's such a uh icon of his time right now this time right now it's crazy i won't go on record and say kendrick lamar is more intro influential than probably a lot of legends right now. His 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 movement and how he is approaching things when it comes to music, man, I tell you, man, it's it's incredible. This is incredible. I'm just I'm just happy to, to be here to, to witness this because this is incredible. It's incredible and master storyteller it still feels like for the time being kendrick has peaked there but with the demeanor and moniker that has possessed him all 2024 we are just seeing the start to how he plays this version of himself and the performance he creates is just so powerful on this album because between the loud and in your face bangers that highlight everything this moment in time represents like of course the long-awaited broccoli snippet which is now the track squabble up and with that song it's clear that even with months of hype, that record managed to live up to everything it was anticipated for. And honestly, even more, because it really sounds better than anyone could have ever imagined in its complete state. But also with this album, not every cut is this overly intense moment where Kendrick Lamar is just not letting up on the mic. Because there are also multiple cuts where he uses his demeanor and mindset to slow things down and create lyrical canvases that are more emotional and centered around his family and friends. And within these moments, we almost learn more about where Kendrick Lamar is at as a person because we are seeing where his mindset that he has used all throughout 2024 meets with the man who he has shown he is deep down inside. And it really is infatuating to see what is the joining and alignment of the healed man we saw on Mr. Morale with this livid and chaotic side that we have seen from Kendrick all throughout here. And now with all of this going on from Kendrick Lamar, another takeaway from this album is that with this performance and with the ruthless demeanor he is showing off, even more than we saw on tracks in Like That or Not Like Us, Kendrick really does want rappers to just feel his full and uncompromised wrath and understand that with the performance we- <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, man. Kendrick Lamar is basically out here. Everybody's predicting that he's going to drop another project and we ain't even get through this one yet. And this one is crazy fire. So it's like, we didn't get through this one yet, and people are speculating that he might drop another one. You know what I'm saying? And I personally think that he might, probably around Christmas time, if that does happen, but I just want to hear the song from the video. I, I want to see where he goes with that. You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, man, it's so many of these songs I'm going to be reviewing because I'm probably going to review all the songs because they all fire. It's crazy are witnessing that right before our eyes 2024 kendrick lamar is being solidified with the likes of a prime tupac or an 0350 cent as these immovable forces in hip-hop that managed to walk on the line of art and competition so masterfully and i think in the grand picture of this album this is really its greatest feat because at the end of the day Hip-hop is just as competitive of a sport as it is profound of an art form, and despite that being within the very DNA of the genre, for whatever reasons, more people have stood away from walking on this line and making a genuine impact in both of these lanes that are needed to dominate as a rapper, and with what Kendrick is doing here, as in the grand picture of his discography, every album he has dropped has broken down doors. What this album feels like it's doing is breaking down this one more than anything else, because what we are seeing here is that simultaneously, you can be a great MC who is making high concept songs and who is telling insightful and impactful stories, but still be so hungry and really angry at the rest of your peers. And with both of these, what Kendrick ends up creating, this is really like something that rap has not seen today, because this is something that we just don't ever get. I agree with that. He's showing that he is still hungry, even though he's successful. 
This is the thing about rap, right? I think that Kendrick Lamar has got to the point where he feels like rappers has not, and I said this in the video, Kendrick feels like rappers have not advanced. They're still doing the same thing. And I've been saying this. Rappers are stuck. Rappers like Drake. Drake has been the same guy for the last five, six, seven years. The same rap. The same rap. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick is saying, none of y'all has grown as artists. All of y'all are the same artists. None of y'all has grown. Nobody. Y'all just rapping the rap. What, what, what are we doing here? Everything don't have to be a conceptual album, but what are we doing? You're supposed to grow as an artist. You're supposed to be able to do something, manipulate the beat or manipulate words or whatever. This just shows me, like, you got to understand something, right? And you know what? I'm going to explain it at the end. I know y'all hate when I do that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to explain it at the end. Let's keep it. And really, when it comes to this art form being so competitive, we just have been put further from that as the decades have passed. And in a way... ...has been fighting for all along. When it comes to this art form being so competitive, we just have been put further from that as the decades have passed. And in a way, it almost feels like this very mission is what Kendrick has been at. And really, when it comes to this art form being so competitive, we just have been put further from that as the decades have passed. And in a way, it almost feels like this very mission is what Kendrick has been fighting for all along. Which at its core is the idea and pursuit to create a hip-hop landscape where rappers are fully holding up to the title of what they are supposed to do in the booth. Which is to be just... Yo, you, yo, I'm telling you, he hit the, he hit the nail right on the, on the head. He has just created a landscape. I'm telling y'all. With with uh Euphoria, six one six, meet the Grams, not like us. I'm telling y'all that that was the detrimental of hip hop. That was the reason why hip hop has fell. If if you're not creative, I don't think hip hop you're gonna last anymore. I'm telling you, I don't care who you are. You gotta be creative. Tyler the Creator, creative. His album was very successful because he was creative. You have to be creative now. You can't just be, see, Kendrick did this. He did this. He made it to where rappers have to be creative. You can't just come out with anything no more. It's not going to work no more. You have to have some type of, whether it's a concept or something, you got to have something. It can't just be you dropping songs. That's not going to work no more. It'll work maybe for a week, but it's not. People want something that they're going to get their money's worth. You know what I'm saying? The value of their money, they wouldn't get that. And I'm telling you now. Just as competitive as you are skilled of a writer. And based on how ruthless Kendrick talks here, now he throws out a lot of disses and jabs at legends and just lets them know that he is standing with the crown in his hand and he will take on any challenge. That I think on some level, when it comes to worthy opponents, Kendrick really just wants to see chaos. And he wants to see how something like this can cause everyone else to react and respond. As right now, as far as anybody should be concerned, any rapper who considers themselves to be a big player in hip hop now has their backs against the wall. And I mean, with this power and passion that just makes listening to all 44 minutes of this project more rewarding and fun. Man, that is a saying right there. Kendrick has the power and passion. Power and passion. Power and passion. That's what this is power and passion and you got power and passion it's you can't it's hard to defeat this person bro i'm telling you either one he's coming either way it's crazy really well again there is so much to say and talk about with this album that it's hard to really put into perspective on its initial impact What's definitive and what will continue to be said about this record for years to come is that it's restoring that spirit and energy in hip hop that has defined what this genre has meant in its best eras and bringing it to heights that we have never seen in this generation and all in all, no matter what, the fact that Kendrick Lamar, even after having the greatest year any rapper has in years without an album, is still leveling up what it means to be an MC and competitor in this space where based on everything that's already happened, he really has no reason or incentive to. Overall, it's showing that we are witnessing one of the best moments from arguably the best rapper of all time, which is saying a lot. And while we are in this moment, we should just all appreciate what peak rapping and hip hop music really looks like. Because who knows when we'll see this again.
And so now with all of this said, let me know. What do you think about this new? Yeah, you right about that. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, make sure y'all go follow Fantastic Hip Hop. You know what it is. Yeah, man. I mean, at this point, I'm going to say this, and this is what I want y'all to understand. There's no artist that can actually say that they done something on a level of Kendrick Lamar, excuse me, on a level of Kendrick Lamar when it comes to disc discography. It's no rapper can say that. No, you can't pull no rapper out. Even, even if you're pulling out people from the past, even if you're pulling out legends, you can't, they can't, you can't do it. You can't. You go from, we could start with, Let's we could start with uh let's just do all his albums, right? We could start with the uh, uh the uh Kendrick Lamar EP, then we can go to uh Overly Dedicated, then Section 80, Good Kid Mad City, To Pimp a Butterfly, Damn, uh then you got other albums, uh Untitled Unmastered, and uh the Black Panther soundtrack. Then you got Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. And then you got this album right here. There's not many rappers could say that they can compete with that. Just the way he orchestrates his music, it's not many rappers could say they do that. If it, just, just how he, 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 he filters in hit bangers and he still is lyrical doing it. It may seem like he's dumbing it down, but sometimes you the way you place words in raps, the way you do it, to me, Kendrick Lamar, he's a master at making you believe something is 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 surface level, but then when you read into it, it's deep. So like for example, the today is the day that uh JFK was deleted. Now, if that continues on with the themes of, of uh, all of the historical dates of, of, of America, what's, what would be the next date? You know what I'm saying? Would it be Christmas? Would it be Thanksgiving? It might be Thanksgiving. So you figure if, if, if Thanksgiving rolled around and Kendrick dropped something on Thanksgiving... You already know what it is. So I'm thinking that that's the case. But he has these albums, and I don't think that no one can say that they can. Kendrick moved, and he moves in such a difficult way to explain. Sometimes it's very difficult for me to even wrap my head around it because if I'm listening to Good Kid Mad City and then I'm listening to this album, they don't even sound like the same rapper. And if I'm listening to Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers and I'm listening to this album, doesn't even sound like the same rapper. If I'm listening to Damn and I'm listening to uh, To Pimp a Butterfly, doesn't even sound like the same artist. This is, this is what I mean. This is vintage. This is Kendrick. Peak level God mode. Crown is heavy Kendrick. Can't really, you can't defeat that. I don't care what Drake pulls out. He's never going to be able to defeat. It's already over. You can't defeat his discography. You can have a hundred albums. You can't defeat it because the aura that he brings to the music is the reason why he's where he's at. You can't do that. That's things you can't replicate. You can't replicate the aura of the music. You can't. Some people just have that connection to people. You that can't be manufactured. I'm telling you, it can't be. The connection to people can't be manufactured. You could try it, and I think the record industry been trying for years to connect with people, manufacture connection, but it don't work because eventually the artist has to show who they really are. They take that mask off eventually and show who they really are, and. It just doesn't line up sometimes. Kendrick Lamar is who he is. At this point, he can drop anything, and people are going to magnetically uh, ma uh, be a magnet to it because he's not going to just drop anything and it just be anything. He's going to drop something 
that is fire. So either way, that's what it is. So all the narratives about Kendrick don't be dropping like that. Look, bam, he dropped, he dropped four songs plus an album. And I'm telling you, somewhere in one, somewhere in in, in 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 somewhere, there's something connected somewhere. I'm telling you, but hey, man, you know what it is. Out of here, man. See y'all. Thank y'all for watching, man. Six o'clock show coming up, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye.